Do you want to know some Discord secrets related to messages? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the biggest Discord secrets related to messages that not a lot of people know. I'm going to be showing you things such as how to use colors in your messages and stuff like that. But before we get into that, make sure to go and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, or at least check you're still subscribed. We're nearly at 100,000 subscribers. We're only about 3,000 away at the time of recording. So it'd be insane if you could go and subscribe or at least share this video around. Also, go and hit that like button, comment some feedback to allow me to improve, join my Discord server with the link on screen, and check out this other Discord server that has helped me out recently. They do night shift giveaways, so go and join with the link on screen. Anyways guys, let's get straight into the video. Before I get into the core secrets of this video, I need to quickly show you how Discord messages work. Normally, you can just send a message like this, and it would go through and it would be normal text. That could be uppercase, lowercase, or anything like that. However, if you want a bolder message, what you need to do is you need to put two asterisks either side of your message and it would be bolded. If you want to make it italics, you just put one asterisk either side. If you want bold italics, you put three either side. If you want something underlined, you put two two underscores either side of the message. If you want to bold underline something, then you put two underscores either side as well as two asterisks. Do it like this. If you want to italics underline something, then you put one asterisk either side with two underlines as well. If you want to strike through something, then you put a tilde, I think that's what it's called, a tilde either side of your message. If you want to quote something, then what you do is you put an arrow like this just before your message. If you want to put a dark background behind a message, then what you do is you put one grave accent either side of the message. If you want to use code blocks like this one here, which is going to be important for the colors, then what you're going to have to do is you've got to put three grave accents either side of the message. And then it goes like this. Now you have the ability to know what to do when it comes to colors. So let me quickly tell you about the secret colors that you can use in your messages on Discord. To use any of the colors on Discord, you're going to have to use code blocks, which means you've got to use those three little grave accents before and after the message. Now this is important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of the colors that you can use to my knowledge. So the first one is red. So what you're going to want to do is you want to type diff, D-I-F-F -F, on the top line of that message. Now you're going to want to go shift enter to go down the line. And then what you want to do is you want to do a little dash, you know, the minus sign. That is going to allow you to type in red. So I can say, for example, subscribe, which you should totally go and do. Then if I close that off with the three grave accents, it will allow me to send, and then you go, it is red. The next one down is orange. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to use a square bracket on the second line and put CSS on the top line. But you can type anything in those square brackets. So, for example, I type... Um, and there you are. It is orange. And now if I go to the bottom line, press enter, it sends. That is orange text. The next one I'm going to show you is a yellowy color. And this is something which is pretty easy. And all you do is you just type. The next one I want to show you is yellow. So basically in the top line, you put F-I-X. Now you don't need to put anything special on the second line. You can just type away. So for example, and there you are, it says yellow. You literally just do that, fix, and then type anything you want on the second line and then you send it. And it is literally just that. As you can see, I use that up here. And I've used it here as well. The next one is blue. So basically, again, you open the code block, then you put INI, so like INI, on the top line. And then on the second line, you put another square bracket there, and you can type whatever you want. You could start with a space afterwards, or you can just type straight away after the square bracket. So for example, this time, As I've done there, on the second line, I put blue text, as you can see, with the square brackets either side, and it works. So join that server, by the way. It's pretty cool. Anyways, let's go over to the next color. So the second one is a bit of a moss color. It's like a moss green sort of color. And on the top line, I put diff, D-I-F-F. -F. On the second line, I put a plus sign, which you have to do for this to work. And then you can type whatever message you want after that. So the next one I'm showing you is a turquoise color. There are two ways of doing this one. So let me show you the first way. The first thing you do is you type Y-A-M-L. You can then put anything on the second line that you want. And then you close off the code block and you can send it and it works. The next one down is the same sort of color. But what you type is you type bash on the top line. This could be B A S H on the second line. Then you put basically uh, anything you want. Again, just in quotations. Um, it has to be in quotations either side. And then you can send it in the code block and it sends as that color. Then the final one is a bit of a darker yellow. It's quite like a gold color. So what you do is you type A P 
P-A-C-H-E on the top line. On the second line, you type a percentage mark. You then do a little bracket like this. It's like the squiggly one with the line in the middle. I forgot what it's called. Um, editor, put the word for it on screen. And then you type whatever you want within these brackets. You have to make sure there are no spaces between them. If there are spaces, then unfortunately it won't work. So basically you use an underscore to type between the words and then you close it off with that bracket again. You send it in the code block and then there you go. It's literally sent. Now it looks slightly different from there unless my eyes need testing, which they probably do. But basically that is another way and another color. Now, those are all of the colors that I know how to use in terms of the messages on Discord. Psych, there is actually one more. So that one is basically this. You type Y-A-M-L on the top again. You then you put a little hashtag, then your message, and then you send it. And it's a very, very light gray. Not the most appealing, but it is what it is. And those are all of the ones I know. Um, there could be more. I can't really find them. I've been trying to look if there's any more, but those are the ones I can see. If you guys know any others, then go and tell me in the comment section below. And if you want to try these out, then come to my Discord server with the link on screen. Go to this channel here and then go and have a go. Just try them out. You can send whatever you want as long as it's within my rules. So tell me in the comment section below if you know any others. This is another Discord Secrets video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have, go and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join my Discord server, and I will see you very soon on Friday for the next video. Have an awesome day and peace out.